Dr. Randy of the Wellness Experience. Hi there. Hi. Krista. So tell us about where you're at right now with the Wellness Experience and what your future vision is. Okay. So after 20 years in practice, um, at this point in time, I'm at a place where I, I see other doctors coming out of school um, with situations where it's challenging to get started um, because the debt is so high and um, they're, they're actually anticipating the fact that they want to get into their own scenario, their own business. So what we've done is over the years, we've actually embraced um, the doctors coming out of school, brought them in and gave them an opportunity to um, grow in our practice. Um, at this point in time, they've grown in our practice and they've went out on our own. Our expansion um, at this point, after, the, after I've worked for the 20 years, is actually to bring them in and take them back to, um, take, them, take them out on their own um, by helping assist them in that process, doing some coaching and leadership. I actually have uh, my shirt on, it's the White Buffalo, my uh, Lifetime Wellness shirt, it's my brother-in-law's, um, it's actually my brother-in-law's uh, leadership group and, um, and his, his advancement, but I, the reason that I wore this today was because I, I'm, I'm in the process of starting my own leadership program called Adventures in Chiropractic. And, um, mm -hmm. It's, it's going to be a platform for doctors to come from all over the United States um, and hopefully eventually the world to um, go on adventures and ways, you know, ways to build their practice in leadership ways. So that's one of the programs we're doing um, with, with doctors locally and then also doctors throughout the United States. Wow, what kind of adventures? You name it. We like might, kayaking? We might do some kayaking. We might do some airboat rides down here. The Everglades brings a lot of different nature. Yeah. and So we're in the process of, of really mapping that out right now. Um, we'll come across that shortly. Okay. So, yes. That's great. Now, tell us something most people don't know, which is how to take care of your spine. Okay. Okay. So um, spinal care is really, really important. The one thing that we deal with specifically is how the structure of the spine affects the nervous system or the neurology, right? So that's really, really important. But when a person leaves my office, it's important for them to take care of their spine even further with doing stretches, doing exercises, doing strengthening, eating right, making, taking the steps to really change their lifestyle. You know, so when it comes down to it, my thing is, is that when you're in the office, we deal with the structure and how it affects the nervous system. When you're out of the office, you're dealing with how to keep that structure stable and how to maintain a healthy lifestyle overall, really. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So, how old were you when you decided to become a chiropractor and why did you decide to become a chiropractor? Okay. It's, a, it's actually um, a, a great, well, I, I, I call it a great story because I'm, I'm around my son's, my son's now getting ready to turn 13 here shortly. And in that process, um, I, I think back to when I did a report. So I've been helping him with a lot of different reports and different things that he's, he's uh, taking into school. His, you know, we, we, we've really enjoyed that. But the one thing that I've um, noticed that he gets excited about certain things. He get, when he's doing these reports or these projects for school, he gets very excited. And that's really what happened with me when I was in seventh grade. I knew that I wanted to take care of people. I knew that I wanted to help people without having to provide medication, having to provide, you know, um, a, trying to provide a different model than, than the medical model. Uh, and that was really what I saw. And I had a doctor that showed a lot. Not only did my cousin show interest in me, um, my cousin had, was a, a chiropractor as well. And, and he did very, very well, he still does, and he takes care of a lot of patients. But there was another doctor that kind of embraced me after I told him about it. But seven, when I was in seventh grade, I knew, I knew that I wanted to be a chiropractor because I did a report on chiropractic. 
and I explained, you know, what I explain every day. So it, it was it's it was fun then, and it's awesome now to still be a part of that. Wow, so, you knew early on. I did. I That's did. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Randy, where were you born and raised, and why did you decide to come to Wellington, Florida? Okay, a great story, another <laughs> fun story. Um, born and raised in uh, Beaver Falls, Elwood City, Pennsylvania area, which is about 30 miles northwest of, of Pittsburgh. Um, go Steelers. I am a Steelers fan. Uh -huh. I, I bleed black and gold. <laughs> <laughs> But at born, born and raised there, small town USA, real hardworking, great people, um, was amazing aspect of growing up. Very, very blessed to be in an opportunity, have an opportunity to grow up in an area like that. Um, when I was in my last seven months of chiropractic school, I actually um, had the opportunity to travel throughout the state of Florida. And in that process of traveling through Florida, um, made a couple trips, a couple stops, met a, with a couple friends. On my way back through, um, we actually stopped in Marathon Key with two of my really close buddies. And in the process of coming back through, we stopped in, in the fabulous Boca Raton, Florida. And I actually met my wife that day. I called my my mother that night, that evening, and told her I found the, the lady that I was going to marry. And it wow. was it was all all from there. I I will never leave Florida again. <laughs> and what do you love about Wellington? I love the hometown feel about Wellington because. When my dad grew his business, when my parents were there, we always had friends and family that if you'd go to a grocery store, you'd run into, we still to this day, when I go home, you run into 10 people that you know. And I just think that that's not, it's that hometown feel, it's the, the comfort of being in a place where people love and respect you. Yeah, you know? and yeah. That's, that's the fun part about it. And you know, having all the opportunities, because Wellington gives so many opportunities with their their parks and recreation department to you know all the different you know oddities with uh, the equestrians and uh, it's just it's just an amazing it's been an amazing experience for for me and my family so mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. So. Now I heard you have a twin sister who's also a chiropractor. That's correct. Tell us about that relationship. So my sister was uh, in a pharmacy program at Duquesne University in Pittsburgh. She calls me from the pharmacy program and she says, Randy, she goes, I don't think I want to do this all day. I don't think I want to pop pills in a bottle. And I was like, well, I said, she goes, I think I want to be a history teacher. I said, that is awesome. But you have all those health classes. Why, why should you not have the opportunity to use, you know, the science coursework that you've already uh, accomplished why don't you come and visit? And she came to visit me in uh, Spartanburg, South Carolina, where I was getting preparing to start school. She had all the prerequisites and she was ready to go. And now, of any woman in chi the chiropractic profession today, I would say that my sister has become one of the most influential. There are some ladies that have been around for a long time that have been in the chiropractic profession or their husband was a chiropractor. And, but I would say that I feel blessed and honored that I was able to help my sister get into the profession, but also blessed and honored to see what an amazing chiropractor, an amazing educator, an amazing person that I always knew she was, but she's just taken it to another step. She speaks all over the world. She speaks, she's been in Spain, she's been in Mexico, Italy, they, they teach, and uh, her and her husband are just uh, a huge, huge part of, of the chiropractic profession today, and not only in their offices, but outside their office, in the community, um, and throughout the world now. So wow. it's amazing. Yeah. What's her name? Rochelle. Dr. Rochelle Knowles. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. So what is one thing that people don't know about chiropractic chiropractic care that you wish they did know? Well, there's so many misconceptions or so many worries about care. And I always tell 
patients that, you know, they, the worries are so low and so limited. Um, people are afraid sometimes of different adjustments, different types of adjustments. The, the adjustment is actually moving the bone back into position, but there, there are about 150 different chiropractic techniques. There, there's, and then that doc, that specific doctor uses those techniques in so many different ways. So it's really the art, but it's, it's, it's being safe it's taking a proper history. It's, it's actually allowing the patient to educate you about what's going on with them and you actually listen, listening. In today's age, sometimes that's the biggest challenge because most doctors don't have time. Most doctors don't um, spend the time. You know, that's one reason why I do have associates because if I can't do or get the proper information, they can. You know, and that's really the biggest thing. In order to keep patients safe, it's giving them the opportunity to tell you everything about themselves, but also being proficient and efficient in how you find out what's truly wrong with them and then make sure that it's safe to do what we do. Um, so, you know, we have one of the lowest um, malpractice insurance coverage rates. We have you know, so that tells a story too. You know, people people don't get hurt unless there's there's negligence in most situations. But there's you know, 3,000 people die each day from properly prescribed medication. So just think about that. Um, chiropractic is safe. It's it's something that's helpful and beneficial, and it gives people a, a way to not have to take medication, opioids, and all that to actually get through a, a painful situation, but it also helps improve the quality of life of most people, too. Mm -hmm. You have a really gentle tool called the Pro Adjuster. Yes. You want yeah. to explain that a little yeah, bit? Yeah, so, so there, like I said, there's 150 different techniques, the Pro Adjuster being one of, of many instruments out there that actually make changes to the structure of the spine. Um, the thing that I love most about it is it's an analysis tool as well. Some tools um, are just adjustment tools where this one actually analyzes the spine and it gives a, a lot of great information about the spine as well. Um, so I've used it over the last 13 years to actually assess the spine and come up with the best possible way to adjust the spine. And then I also use uh, manual techniques as well. So not just the instrument, but um, I feel that using your hands and really making a determination of what's truly going on with the patient is so important as well. So it's kind of my second set of eyes, I would say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or hands. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out on this beautiful day. It is a beautiful talking day. Talking with us. Thank yeah. you so much. I really appreciate that.